Gemini, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is the non-horoscope. So this is not a horoscope. This is an energy reading, Gemini. So wherever Gemini energy influences your natal chart or influences your life. So it could be that you're dealing with a Gemini. This is the place for you. Pull up a chair. <laughs> okay. Gemini, um... I uh, always make an extended reading. So if you're looking for more depth, like uh, uh, more specifics, like the like um, in terms of hashing out the, the players and all of those details, that is in the extended. I pull out a full tarot card spread that extends and um, sort of personalizes this reading. And that includes a romantic reading as well. That link is below. I upload a new Gemini video every single week. So if you want it hot off the press, please click subscribe. You'll hit the ch you'll, you'll help the channel grow. And you will also be able to ring that bell so you can get notified when I upload all the new content. Thanks, Gemini. Let's get right into your reading. Gemini. Let's see. What's up with you guys? What's up? Gemini, what's up? Coming out the back door. Coming out the, uh, <laughs> it's coming out the rear. That's what all this, looking for your crowning energy. I'm like, looking, looking, what's crowning energy for Gemini right now? Ooh, ooh, things are flipping out. I hope you're not flipping out. Uh, you know. I hate to sound too stereotypical, but we really are like this is these are strange times. <laughs> like this is this is unprecedented. Not unprecedented if you're like 90 or like 100, but it's unprecedented for most of us. So, and there we have it. We have your crowning energy, but it's it's still kind of hidden. Let's see what's going on. Oh, damn. Tend to the small things. Things has been getting out of control. And watch your words. Ooh. Ooh, somebody been all oh, you went off, Gemini. <laughs> you about to have words with somebody. It's something's been building inside of you for a long time. And there's a sense of, of um, the little things just don't run wild. It's like this is a mouse infestation. Things that are building, things that are hidden, things that are beneath the walls. You know where you see one mouse, there's like 400 living in the walls? This is a sense of being sort of overwhelmed and overcome by all of those things that have built up uh, over time and a sense of almost not being almost not being able to put them into words or not watching your words and just letting it all out a sense of almost exploding at somebody or you could be um um just e e like an emotional an emotional vomit if you, if you will of e of some sort of emotions or um somebody what something that somebody's saying about you is causing you to uh feel a lot of feelings or uh react in a pretty intense way or react in such a way like you you almost don't know how to react because there's there's almost too much uh a sense of maybe feeling defensive and wanting to fight back um um uh, maybe feeling too much that's what it is it's almost like what's crowning your energy is feeling so much that you want to rip into people you want to defend yourself you want to defend yourself because you don't like feeling this much like this that's the energy of of really almost feeling attacked that's if i could if i could like sum it up it would be like feeling attacked magic works through you this is cancerian energy energy of five plus two building something being able to channel energy being able to control it being able to use it in a way that helps you transcend or transition um, maybe understand things that are conceptually difficult, um, but this is more emotional energy, right? This is water energy. So, so it's a sense of uh, being able to understand and comprehend emotions, um, letting sort of it, it in your heart space and not necessarily ha having to comprehend it with your mind, um, but using it to m do something, like inspire you, like uh, um, using what you're feeling to generate um, something with purpose, something um, um, could be something creative or uh, something emotive or expressive. Um, but this is definitely the energy of um, 
wanting to love, wanting to nurture, wanting to heal, wanting to help, wanting to care for, um, and that that really being your priority. And it is fair to say that it could be wanting to do these things for yourself because you're the one who needs it. Remember, Cancerian energy can also be very, very protective, very um, um, not without my daughter. <laughs> you know, like that energy of like of like protection at all costs, um, um, almost viciously protective sometimes. But it's it's also very defensive. So what could happen with this also could mean is that you're you're feeling so much that you need you're going into your shell and you're needing a second to like process it all. But the processing is about using all of that you're feeling to create something. So let's get into that. Um, Ooh, uh, reclaim your power. Um, this is energy of eight. So this is destiny, something something that is it, divine timing, divine timing. Like this is, this is the right time to basically uh, stick up for yourself, stand up for yourself, watch out for yourself, look out for yourself, um, take care of yourself, and also like speak out, like come out. You know, it, you can see like his, just his eyes. He, he like through awareness, almost awareness of a circumstance is drawing you out it's drawing you out from the shadows it's you're not you're not it, you it's almost like it's not time to hide anymore it's time to like step out and make yourself known and uh, allow yourself to take a stand make a stance not just watch from the background um this is being able to see in the dark and being able, this is Aquarius energy, truth, this is wisdom and counsel. So you can be taking wisdom or uh, taking counsel or um, uh, being the wise one giving counsel. Um, being, being what helps people see through the dark or see through a dark situation, a sense of because um, owl can see very well at night, see things that other people can't see. So it's almost like I'm seeing the truth or being the delivery um, platform through which the truth comes to the surface. It's like, it's like telling the truth, um, speaking the truth or letting the truth come out through you or giving somebody advice to do so. And there's this wonderful sense of that's really going to work for you. You can actually multiply your abundance. Like it's not that you don't have abundance in your life right now, but you're multiplying it. You're, um, it's going to work. It's, it's lucky. This is a lucky time. It's, a uh, what you see and what you say will be received extremely well. Um, and then bring your ideas to life. This is a wonderful time for creativity. That's bottom line. Four plus two equals six. A sense of um, a sense of dawning. A sense of coming together. A sense of that sort of alchemical combination of it's like ephemeral. You know, you, you don't, there's not really any words for why something comes together, but there's magic happening here. There's a sense of just magic taking off and working through you. Um, and perhaps working on you as well. Time to collaborate. Mm, there's sort of some sort of magical collaboration happening, a partnership that maybe was unexpected, but there is this beautiful partnership that's happening between you and another or you and you because you are the twins, right? The sense of both sides of yourself getting together and agreeing on something for once so that you can make something and create something um, that is important to the whole of you instead of just parts of you uh, nothing is wasted taking treasure and taking finding treasure in a trash heap taking a pretty shitty situation and turning it into a magical one like finding the roadkill that's what vultures eat right they eat roadkill but like seeing the roadkill and saying hey how can I nurture myself with that like yes you may be in a tough situation in a difficult situation but what you're doing with this energy and with these emotions is instead of backing down and running away you're stepping up and in stepping up there's a sense of being able to pick through and find value somehow value in this circumstance that could very easily get out of control if you don't confront it time to heal this is that kundalini energy very sexual very base very um very primal energy kind of sort of coiling around in your stomach. This is very primal energy coming out and you seeing a way to conduct it and use it in a way that helps you heal. There's a sense of, um, 
looking at things in a different way or being able to like twist like um yeah being able to find a way to um um you like twist things around so that they work for you i don't want to make you sound too manipulative but there is a sense of um but there is a sense of um hold on so but there is a sense of letting it out finding a positive conduit for what could be toxins or poisons in your life but you're finding a beautiful conduit for it that helps you actually get better. See, it's just very powerful energy. It's a very strong energy. If it's not used correctly, it will be easily toxic, right? But this is your way of um, conducting that poison out of your system, not at somebody else, but out of your system so that you can be free of it. You realizing it's like, if I try to pretend this away or I let it seep it'll, it'll seep out into me if i don't grab a hold of this now um because this is your grounding energy if i don't grab a hold of this energy now and conduct it in the way that it makes sense um or is honest then it will run all over me it will poison me so this is a sense of conducting it in a way that's out of your system so that you can be free free from it um being liberated from toxins being liberated from poisons being liberated from um, um, attacks or things that were hurting you or, um, uh, yeah. And this is, this would be things that were internal that were hurting you, not necessarily external. Um, this isn't like a defensive, this is, this is internal. This is definitely internal. I, I know that it's not always easy for you guys to work through your emotions just because air signs, tend to not like to get too emotional, but this is a sense of how can I logically use it to help myself right now, to do something with it and find some sort of um, conduit um, um, for that, for those, for those emotions. I don't, I don't know if it's a creative conduit. Well, let me see if I can. Grounding your energy is literally finding a way to use what you're experiencing what are you experiencing? It could very well be that you have felt attacked, um, that you felt attacked by something petty, or you felt attacked or misused or mistreated. And it's almost like, I think, I, I almost feel like you backed down and didn't want to talk about it for a while. You didn't want to say anything for a while, but then there was a sense of, no, I have to stick up for myself. I have to say something. I have to say something. I have to come out and be open but this could also be a sense of like i have to be open about my side of things sand piper spirit be playful this is also the energy of five plus one is six now six is love the six is love this is almost trying to generate love but not like romantic love like connection love generate health Generate healing, generate happiness, keep things light, keep things on the surface. You don't want things to be heavy. You want liberation from heaviness. And and so it's almost like you you probably like tried to avoid the fight because you didn't want to get heavy. But this is almost like a release of the heavy. Almost like forgiveness, if I could say that, if that makes any kind of sense, is about realizing that that not that those tethers of 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 anger really just like hold you down we've been through this before as well but this is a sense of liberating yourself from all the toxins and all the poisons and all the worries and if people are talking about you they're going to talk about you you're going to share yourself with the world you're going to express yourself the way that you need to there's some sort of collaboration here i don't know if this is love new love or just connection with ideas it's more like you love an idea and you're finding somebody who loves it as much as you do and you're like using this really wonky situation to collaborate and make something turn something out of it hold on let me uh flip the camera around so you can see the cards now this could indicate that you think that people are trying to like talk about you and like create something that is not true about you um but this this is the energy of like identifying that that's the toxin this sort of almost like parent uh, i don't want to 
you know, be accusatory, like say that you're paranoid, but it's almost like realizing that it's kind of paranoid and that it's, it's holding more power over you than even their opinions. So this is a sense of just, I'm going to release any kind of toxin. I'm going to release any kind of poison from my life by getting it completely out of my life and not letting it control me and just stay very light, very light and very happy. Like in other words, realizing your happiness trumps everything and that, you know, um, ultimately what people say, they say, but I, I do think there's some sort of almost like chatter or clatter that's multiplying, that you get defensive about and address, but you like address it in a way that it's almost like tries to get other people on your side um, because you feel attacked by multiple people. This is tend to the small things. Yeah, things got out of control or something has been building and creeping up on you. Um... And now you're finally, you're like, watch your words. I feel like the way people have been talking has been getting to you. It's just been getting to you. Like little, little things. You, it's almost like you, you're finding meaning, like nitpicking meaning, little things, you know? And, and, and you're just, you're just kind of tired of it. But grounding your energy is this sense of, not letting this, oh, it's, I, I know this sounds weird, Gemini, but it's almost like addressing yourself and saying, are you going to react to them or what are you going to do? Like, what do you really want to do here? You know, and I feel like what you choose to do central energy is to nurture, to help, to heal, to care about, to find this energy. It's really interesting because the North Node is leaving Cancer. This is almost like the handoff from the North Node to in Cancer to the North Node in Gemini. This is a sense of that guiding, that guiding torch being handed over, being passed to you now. So a sense of, um, you know, whatever Cancer came up with, it's almost like you now taking over and applying your talents and skills to help make the best out of a circumstance or a situation. And that has to do with your mind and your expansive mind and your ability to think on your feet and your ability to communicate and talk people through things, find words that make sense, right? It's like you're taking a jumble and making sense out of it, translating it. Here, let me... Let's go over to, let's go over to, um, let's go over to tarot. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to hit you up with the extended. It's, it's down below. Uh, we're also going to do your romantic reading. Remember Gemini. I will see you guys over there.